okay, who is Coach Deb? Who does she work with? And why does she refer to herself in the third person? <laughs> That's probably what you're wondering and why you're on this page, right? Well, I'm going to answer that question. And if you haven't figured out, I'm Coach Deb. And I don't always talk about myself in the third person. So I'm going to stop that. So if you don't know me, I will tell you what I'm mostly known for writing the first book on Twitter. However, it wasn't the first book that I wrote on social media. The first book I wrote on social media marketing was when social media wasn't even a term. It was just called new media. And essentially it was blogs, podcast, and video marketing, which essentially is YouTube video marketing, predicting that business owners should be using these channels in order to get new clients, new leads, to do more business online. So I was known as helping brick and mortar companies turn into click and mortar companies. In other words, they have a retail store, they have a company, they have a landscaping company, they have a financial services company, they're a realtor, they do something where they meet with people in person, brick and mortar. But we talk about going to a click and mortar company. So you might have a physical product, you might have a service that people come to you in person. And now you say, okay, well, I want to meet people where I don't have to meet them face to face. As old salespeople used to say, face to face and belly to belly was the best way to meet people. Well, no, it's not because you could only meet one person. And these days it's much more complicated to get the live events going to meet people face to face. So since that is almost virtually disappearing, that's what I coach small business owners to do, to do more business online, to attract more leads, to get in front of way more people by doing, think about it. If you do one video or one Facebook live and you spend 15 minutes, 20 minutes, say an hour meeting with people, say 10 people come and they watch your live. Well, that video now stays up online and you can reach hundreds and thousands of people with that one video that only took you that one blip of time, that one hour meeting. So instead of meeting people face to face to make connections and let them get to know you, I want to teach you how you can do that online so that you can reach more people. And when people think of whatever your business or service provides, they think of you. You are top of mind simply because you're doing video every week, perhaps every day if you're very ambitious, but you're there. You're there top of mind and they want to do business with you. So most people know me as the Twitter queen for writing the first book on Twitter. But this was in fact the first book that I wrote when I went to Hawaii from New Jersey and New York area. So I literally left my secure job. I have to use, put the books down and put air quotes here. I left my secure job in order to go full time and literally start my business online from the most remote island chain in the world, which was the North Shore Island of Oahu. Hawaii. I was there seven years and that's where I built my business completely online. So fun fact that didn't make my mom happy, but for two years when I first moved to Hawaii, I didn't leave the island, which meant every new client, every person that I did business with, I did business because I was online. Perhaps they became my friend on MySpace because that was the only social network that existed at the time. And then Twitter came out. And yes, it was the first published book written on Twitter where I predicted the social media revolution, the Twitter revolution, that it would change everything about the way we did business including politics and communication. When I first joined Twitter, we talked tech, we talked business. It was such a great place where bright minds were talking about what was going to happen in the future, how our future would change because of technology. So when I wrote this book, I predicted that Twitter would absolutely be revolutionary in our life and social media, that it wouldn't just be us geeks that were using the tool. Eventually it would be used by athletes, by celebrities, and yes, by presidents. <laughs> Don't hate the messenger. I just predicted how it would be used because it is a tool. It is a communication tool. It's a communication tool where you can reach the masses. And now it's not just Twitter, it's Facebook, it's LinkedIn, it's YouTube, it's Twitch. It's TikTok, it's Instagram, it's IGTV, it's Facebook Live. Like There are so many ways, there are so many channels where you can literally go live with your own TV show simply with the tool that you hold in your pocket. So if you have an iPhone, a Samsung, a smartphone, 
you can literally have your own TV station completely free. So you can reach your prospective clients, more people that can do business with you online simply because you show up. Years ago, it was 10, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 just to have one 30 minute infomercial at like midnight. Now you can go live any time simply by using this tool. Now, why don't more people do it? If it's so easy to find clients online, it's fear. It's typically the mindset. It's the barriers here that block them from going online. It's no longer the tools. The tools have become simpler, cheaper, and often free. Now, granted, you do need a phone, so there is an expense there, but if most people have a smartphone already. So if you have that tool and that expense is already in the book, then it's just a matter of finding the inexpensive tools to go live, broadcast all over the place in order to reach more people. So that is what I do. The two books are what I'm known for, and it is part of a trilogy. And the third book, which is being published this year, and this is just my journal here where I wrote my notes, um, hashtag share this. This is the third book in the trilogy. And this third book talks about how you can capitalize on this new media revolution. And I talk about the waves coming in stages of three. And this third revolution that's happening right now is a tidal wave. In other words, if you're not already online, if you don't jump online right now to do more business, that tidal wave... Let's just say you don't want to be under the tidal wave. You want to ride that tidal wave and utilize social media to capitalize on it in order for you to do more business online. That's my goal. That is my number one goal to help the small business owner do more business online, to grow their business online, to get my clients, my readers, my subscribers to be top of mind in the mind of their prospects, in the mind of their leads, in the minds of their future clients. That's my goal. So if that's what you want, then we're a great business match. And I'd love to meet you and find out how I can help you. Now, there are several ways I can help. Some people hire me privately, either to help them with their video production, to help them grow their business online. And this is the first year that I will now be reopening my membership. I haven't opened that in seven years. I've only worked privately with clients where we were doing live streams all day. Li Imagine the business owners that we worked all day to do a live show and bring in a six figure day. That was my goal. 12 entrepreneurs in 12 months where we created their show. We created the show flow. We created the topics. We got the guests together. We got the studio together, the equipment together and coaching people on how they could sell online with an all day live stream. So that's the focus of what I've been doing. And I've been working behind the camera, behind the scenes as producer director on a TV set. So I'm now bringing the experience from Hollywood, from TV, from online marketing and online video production all together for that small business owner. And for the first time in seven years, I'm opening up my services to small groups where they wouldn't typically be able to afford my private rates, but they can get a group, a small group together and get group coaching. So that is opening up this year. And if you want to be notified when that opens up and be the first 12 founding members in that group, just be sure to give me your best email address and put your name in so that you'll be first to be notified and a of course, the founding members will get the best rates before I open it up to the general public. So again, my goal is to help more small business owners, the small mom and pop shops to do more business online, to compete with the big guys especially if right now your only choice to get more business is by being online, to meet people online. That's my goal. That's my heart. That's my passion to help more brick and mortar mom and pop shops become more click and mortar, bring in more money and more clients simply by using online marketing. And a lot of these channels are completely free. Also, get free chapters from the new book before it is published, I will be sharing the chapters on my blog and sending them to my subscribers. Now, to subscribe is completely free. 
So there is no cost to subscribe. There is no cost to watch my YouTube channel. So that's where you'll get all of the free tips, the free tools, the free shortcuts to jump start and to leapfrog ahead of your competitors so that you can get that edge and you can do more business. Yep, I think that's it. I can shut this off from here. I got this mic. Yeah, I'll be talking about other tools like this as well in not just the membership site, but the free YouTube channel. If you're not a subscriber there, just go to sharethischannel.com and you get to be, again, a free subscriber on the YouTube channel. There's no cost to follow my videos on YouTube.